I'm scared for this bed. I live. Yeah, because you, you want it now? Oh, okay, you were no, no, no. Such, you, but, you, like, you were surprisingly a Getting red. I'm scared for the hate. I know. I don't know why I was getting so like butt hurt. I'm sorry. At the beginning of the video, you were like, I don't. I know. You know what? Let's, let's know talk about. You're we'll like, talk. I don't know. I signed up for this. I was like, look, I was getting butt hurt. I don't know why I was getting butt hurt, but you're reading. But I feel like you were really going in. No. Have you met us? That was like. <laughs> like oh, we're like, us. Like us. Officially. You like. I feel like I was just be like, love your luck. You. No, you'd be like, this is. <laughs> I'm absolute fucking not, you fucking ugly. I didn't say that. I was like, yes, you killed it, but your hair, or like whatever, and you're like, this is an iconic look, and you want to talk about my hair? You're right, you're right. I was being really, I, like, I was, for some reason. For some reason, I was being so lame. I'm sorry. Hi, Gorge, it is me, Gottmik. And I am Violet motherfucking Chachki. And we are here for the very special second episode of. No gorge. No <laughs> gorge. So last episode, we talked about. Well, no, we didn't talk about. I read Violet's look. She Rebel. was she was but Dra her, like, and so I had to well, comment calm it down halfway through. So if you haven't seen that, go watch me. No, it's not fair. The the scale relax. Are you kidding me? Do you, know, do you know who you are? You are known for being psycho. You're known for being a bitch, and you're gonna say that I was too much. I'm a little bit psycho. <laughs> I tried to really get into your season. I think the opening two or three or four, I can't remember how many episodes it took to get all of you guys together, but it ruined I really it. Did. I lost interest like that because like, Seeing someone's dreams crushed is not inspiring for me. Mm, girl, I told you. The lady said, go home. The lady said, go home. And yeah. seeing all the girls get put in the pork chop loading dock. <laughs> Choices. <laughs> After seeing that, I'm like, this is actually disgusting. Like, you yeah. guys are like exploiting these yeah. people's like dreams and hopes and goals and lives for like TV ratings and shit. And it's, it's not giving what you think it's giving. She's got a point. Let's get right into this. Got mixed looks. Yes. First of all, let's talk about the fact that these photos are gorgeous, crystal clear, <laughs> stunning artistry. And yes. my, in con contrast to my pixelated, like- Like I couldn't even see your eyes. It looks analog. Yeah. Like, okay. It's crazy. I, is... There's so many things I want to talk about. For a promo. This is your season 13 RuPaul's Drag Race promo look. Yes. Gag. Initial reaction, gag Rooney. Yes. Do you remember seeing it? I think I remember seeing everyone together and being like, well, Mick looks the best. Sis, you didn't have to snap off. You didn't have to go in, wig. Pop off, wig. Love. I will give you one critique, though. I'm going to give you a compliment critique compliment. Compliment Love. sandwich. The tights. Mm -hmm. Wrong color. It's the lighting. No, no, no. You think today, like the day I wear my tights every day. It's is the wrong color. That's my. You have to layer. I we'll talk off camera. We don't want to do too many drag secrets. I mean, it was just it was pastel colors. And that was the theme. Pastels. That was the brief pastel they gave you. Pastel burlesque. And they you, gave you pastel burlesque. And I remember. Wait, remember? As the brief. Remember, I was with you and I showed you the mood board and you were on it. You know what? <laughs> Always the mood board, never the mood. <laughs> Who's doing it like this? Oh, it's so cool. Like where? Where? Whomst. <laughs> Oh. I love it. It looks so cute. But oh, yeah, and it was pastel themed. And I was like, well, hello, is this made for me? I need to get my trans colors to give you a little hi, baby. I'm here. Are you giving my beauty blender? So I gave you trans without being and a too. Magnifying mirror? Are you kidding? Look, I just fucked up my makeup for a bit. Me talking, I just want to give my trans story in, but it's like, can I have a beauty blender? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into the looks. Oh, wait, wait. No, now that you say the trans flag vibes, I totally see. Yeah, it's trans without being trans. Oh my trans. God, I love that. Is because it cute? Just like me, it's, it's again, it's using clothing as a language without fucking saying anything. Yeah, and I'm not too much. Like, like it's subliminal and the lip is pink. And, the and I never blue. do that. I never would do that. Like, oh my god, I love that. Thanks. We're so like. <laughs> I love that. Yes. This look is incredible. I'm giving it. It's not fair. What's fair? Right. Life's not fair. Why? Because this is stunning. So you love it. 
I love it. Okay, let's move on. You obviously have the best look of the entire cast. I love Oops, it. said it out loud. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the entrance look. And they just told us, all they said it was like, make sure you can move. The makeup? Mm-hmm. You went off, sis. Yeah. As usual, sis snapped. <laughs> like, can we, like, do we zoom? Like, I mean, I feel like that's my most, one like, of my most recreated makeup looks, yeah. The fucking crease shape? Yes. It's giving. It's yeah, hitting. Yeah, I was just like, well, at that point, when I walked in the workroom, I was the like. The claws, though, I'm not a fan of. The make The nails? I don't think claws are cute. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier. I feel like it's kind of boring it's now. It's like, it's okay. We get, like, you're trying too hard, darling. Yes, yeah. And the shoe is atrocious for me. I hate the shoe too. It, it fell off. As it should. Your body re- your body rejected the <laughs> my shoe. My body rejected your body it. Said, no, no. My body was like, you need a lube. Honey, leather. Yeah. Leather. Suede. You need not even a lube, just Patience. come on, Gorge. Give us something. Not that. Give us not a this. little effort effort. Okay, let's move on. I'm giving this look, I think all your looks are gonna be on the gorge. Like this we don't have to There is a couple I don't think would be on the gorge. I'll let you know. That's cute. Moving on. I like the glove. Asymmetry is my thing. Okay. Let's move on. Another bordello. Really? Let me see. Well, Get into a this bitch. look it's not my favorite look in the world. I'm gonna just tell you That's right now. That's daytime. What was the the theme of daytime? Not my favorite look in the world. But I think we just move on from this. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Whitney, let's, let's, this, this, however, I love. You know why? Why? Spooky ooky. Ooky and kooky. You're telling me that you went from- In 20 minutes. You're Nick. telling me that you went from a hot pink lip, a green eye, and orange contour. Well, they're both green, but I just added liner in the lid because- Oh, I see. It's a. It's like my, a forest green. I know how to do makeup changes really and fast. And then you flipped it. You Black did a makeup lip. flip to this from that makeup. And nail change too, baby. But is it a claw? In 20 minutes. Of course it's a claw. Love. I love. Yes. Betty Bang. It's just, you know what? It's a classic. It is. We don't really need to go into too much detail. Like No. It's just we giving, love, it's giving what it needs to we give. We love night more than day. Spooky, spooky, kooky loves. You know, bang, nipple exposed, asymmetry. And it was like the slip. first time I kind of like hinted my scars out. It wasn't like fully out, but I was like, hi. So I thought it was cute. And I also think this is a really real, this is like almost the first representation of like who you really are. I guess this is a good one too. A thousand percent, But yes. this is almost too colorful for you. A thousand percent. So I think this one is almost the first like taste of like truly who yeah, you are. Yeah, and it was skin tone. So I was like, I was really excited. I was like, I was building, I'm oh, a makeup queen. Oh, it is queen. skin tone. Yeah, so I'm like a makeup queen. So I'm really thinking about the makeup. And so I'm giving me, but also skin tone. So I'm like being like, hey baby, like we're here to play. But you can, like I'm here, like Cause game, you know, on, game on. You no, Michelle, when I got on, she heard I was on the show. She knew I, she was like, this bitch is going to come in white face every day. And I'm going to read her down. And I was like, hey, we love moving on love. This look moving on the runway was next level. Stunning. However, yes, I think for me, for me, this look was a little too close to Sasha Velour's coronation, like step down look. For me. Yeah, no, I agree. For me, for me, for me. I agree. I just think that's Diego's style. Like, yeah, everything it is, he but does. that was an iconic look for her. And I agree. And now this is an like, I mean. I don't look, think that's iconic for me. I think the, the the sleeves were iconic. I don't think we needed to have the exact same headpiece vibe that Sasha had. No, I agree a thousand percent. And this like, is- Like, the moment could have been the sleeves. And this is one of the things that I said that I didn't really have that much design element. And the theme was Lame. Right. So I and told the them. Were giving so I LeMay. told them I was like, I need to do Lemay in a different way. I need to do some kind of like alien or some kind of thing. And he brought me like a seahorse, and we were like, work. We'll do a underwater weird. No, it's stunning. Look, I'm yeah. not like it's so stunning. I just was like, that's all I said. Though. He's so this wildly is talented. He's always been so sweet to me. Like one of a got Mick designs, but Diego's everything. Do you think that when this walked out on the runway, do you think Sasha Velour might have felt some type of way? Probably. I would. I would have too. I would have. I would have been really upset. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Kill me. Doesn't matter. We don't know the truth. I'm just saying if it was me, I'd be pissed. I feel very uncomfortable right now. What was, okay, so I don't know what the theme was. Show me. I don't know what the runway theme was for this and I didn't see it in action. I think I stopped watching around this part. Chains for days with us. All right, I'm ready, blow me. (laughs) 
Amazing. Okay. Tina Burner was a, a train conductor. And then, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Slow down. Tina Burner was a train conductor. And then this was my runway look for it. I'm really confused. It was like a gorgeous, like, train, train conductor. So the theme was trains. Oh. So basically, at the end of the day, that was an extra look I had. And. I was like, we can't have two train conductors, even though I was obsessed with But this with mine. had, like, a train. Yeah, and I was like, mine has a train, and I was like, bring your own wind, it's cute enough, and it's the trans flag colors, I want to drive that home. That's and what I was, I was saying, like, I, I'm s sensing a theme, because, so you sort of had, you started off the promo with a yes. trans flag moment, you had this trans flag moment. Yeah. Um, but I think you're doing, I don't like people who wear literal flags, right? Mm -hmm. I like when it's more yeah. subtle, like the way you've done it, like I didn't even really notice it until... Like it's almost yeah. subliminal, yes. subconscious. It's cute. I yeah. like, you know, the it's rhinestone. Like um, I wish I was way more cinched. That's my, my main judge. I agree. Judge. My main judge. So yeah. we can both agree on that. I'm going to give this a no. <laughs> so I... <laughs> on the scale yeah. of no. Yeah. No. I don't like these shoes. Why? You know what? I'm just not into a it. stripper I shoe. I would never even change that shoe. Really? Yes, I'm wearing a clear. I'm a. I'm a cadaver, in a clear body bag. What why would you want me to wear? Why wouldn't you have? If it was me, if it was my, I would have. Um, <sighs> like, the heel <sighs> would be coming out of my foot like a piece of flesh, like as if. What budget do you think I had? The but you I'm think I saying. have the budget that the internet says I have? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that. Yeah, we'll get let's into, have that yeah, conversation. Let's get into it. But so, yeah. how much money did you spend on Drag Race? I your think your package, including the finale, all of it, shipping everything. Well, okay, the finale was so long after, so it's like, did like the whole show? I mean, you can just say it, just say a number, and we can bleep it out. It's well, honestly tacky of me to ask how much, but. No, I mean, I spent, we already said this on our other thing and I bleeped did not it out. Spend a lot of no, money. on the show, including hair and everything, I think I probably spent like. So I think we need to have a conversation also about how we're having lots of conversations. But then the finale, I had time and like got my shit together, and I probably spent another like. We need to have a conversation about how how much drag truly truly costs. Drag costs a lot. I don't think people understand how much money it No, costs. and then it's like, oh, you see like me and like Simone and stuff on tour and I see comments and they're like, can you guys stop wearing the same thing? Honestly, I and don't like, like that. Mary, I've worn this outfit twice in my life. But also there's nothing wrong with having a signature if it really is like your moment. Even if it's not, I'm in, I, I was in Florida and now I'm in North Carolina. I'm going to wear this outfit that I spent $4,000 on. I don't care. Okay, what the fuck is this theme? We didn't even oh. talk about it. Like, <laughs> Wait, you should know this is the one episode you watched. No, I didn't watch this. This is the bag ball. Oh, it is the bag ball. So this is so this is the ball oh, episode. I did. Are you kidding there me? There were three looks. Everyone had 17 Okay, looks. we're starting over. So this is the ball episode. This is the only episode that Violet Chachki watched. It's and not. And this, the first theme was any were it was anything in the world that had the word bag in it i just feel like the artistry with that could be better for the for me no i feel it i feel like it i get what you're saying about the heel coming on my foot but i obviously feel like if not I even had, just that like i just a custom shoe well next time i'm on drag race and not a pandemic with a budget <laughs> in more than two weeks maybe we'll get a custom shoe <laughs> <laughs> next look bag ball oh for me, this burnt the building. Oh. For me, this really did it. Okay, okay, okay. I love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love this Brian look. Hearns, yeah. There's just something really nice. I said this before. Crystal on black. Like, there's just something so classic. It's so good. There's just something so classic. Again, it goes to the back to the black and white that we love. Yeah. It's the high contrast. It's so good, yeah. Um, and then the hair is great. I'm not a huge fan of the, like, white ruffles. 
Yeah, I felt like the ruffles and the high pony gave me two drag. So I was like, okay, we need to cut. Fashion. So like last minute, I was up to like 3 a.m. like Raking brushing out it out and like uh, putting okay, it all well, over. It was a moment. You did that much. And then I was like individually gelling the white lines. Like it was so oh, dramatic. Okay, I love that. It was so dramatic. Because it does give stripes. Yes, the hair gives it was, stripes. It was and that's moment. nice with the stripes. Underappreciated moment. You have to. No, no one knows the details. Yes, but. If I, I didn't I think have this that is a great look. like it needs white. Thank you. It's white. Next, this look for me solidified. Let me. Oh yes, it solidified you in my book. I love. Yes. Yeah. It was. It was cute. It was and, just nice. I think you really. And came also, your own. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to spill this. I'll find out more. But so the look. So since it's so simple. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. Also my body. The body is here. Yeah. I think my perception of what is masculine and what is feminine is so skewed at this point. But like when you walked out for me, one minute I was like, oh my God, like stunning, stunning woman. Like next minute I was like, oh my God, like androgynous, like dude, like it's giving just like complete gender fuck. Yes. And like, not just saying that like, oh, it's, I'm genderfuck. Like I have like, yeah. you know, like I'm wearing like a fun, like a short wig. No, no, no. Like truly mentally taking us to that place where it is truly unknown and gray area. And it is making you question almost everything. Like it's giving what it needs to give. Love. Next. Okay. This is the Gagatandra look. <laughs> Clear? Yeah. Gagatrandra. I think anal beads was the right direction. I now think the headpiece is nice. Yeah, that's, oh, the latex, the headpiece I didn't do. Oh, okay, well, I knew who did the headpiece. Yeah, Venus did the headpiece, and I did the outfit. And who then did the bracelet? Venus did the bracelet, too. If I was out of Corona, I would have hit up a factory and had a more, like, cinch like Namelia. 20s vibe with like tons like it's fringe but right. i just couldn't get it like, I, was I was in my bedroom hand painting this shit and stoning it oh, like well, i kind of like it then. it's like sad i, like <laughs> I kind of like it more now like you <laughs> maybe i don't <laughs> <laughs> swipe away swipe away okay, moving right along oh i love it it's not my favorite the theme was yellow I think even just <laughs> this line on the boot like breaks up the line of the leg. Sure, and I did that. And it bothers me. Just I'm just the detail. <sighs> it's all in the details, my darling. And then I don't like this like raver girl head thing. <gasps> I would have preferred just like a skull cap, like well, bald. Oh, okay. Like just bald. Like the dummies are bald. They don't have hair. The first idea was that it was out of seat belts, but it was hard. No, I like the vinyl. Like I think the the no, materials the were the was right choice. Belts, but we couldn't get oh, it. Oh, like, the pony cute. was seatbelt. Yeah, we couldn't get it like cute enough. I think you should have just chopped off that little nub and just done. Girl, you know I would have been red for that on Drag Race. What are you talking about? That would have. Given... If I didn't have a pony or something, what? they need to be like, "Where's the girly?" Are you kidding me? Because I'm getting bored. <laughs> what would you have done for yellow? I think I would do like a piss queen. That'd be stunning. Like water sports. Love. A plus. I really but love this, this one. Um, it was like a. This feels like you. A hundred percent. I. It was like I needed a safety pin. Nuts. Cut it. Put safety pins in it. And then I was in the drag race parking lot at two a.m. Spray painting it. The shoes. Spray painting the thing. All of it. Just like in the parking lot with a PA with a flashlight, and we were just. Ugh. Going off that. And I was wearing Prada shoes that I just got, and I spray painted the max, and I was really sad. Oh. Mm. All right. <laughs> but that's part of the journey. Yeah. I but, mean, I really love it. Oh my God, and you're wearing like tattoo sleeves. Uh huh. And it says 13. So cute. Yeah, it's cute. I love it. I really, this just feels like, especially getting to know you better after. Um, and the theme moment. was Fascinator. So you could do anything you want with a Fascinator. Hate. <laughs> I like it because I was just, well, my idea was like, it's just a face. So 
I was like, I want it to be like eyes. We originally had it in my head. I think and I would have gone, gone vulgar. This is the one that I hated the color purple, and I was like, I need to put purple somewhere so no, we like, put it here. It's well done. Because obviously it was me and me black and white, like weird. Like I just all, don't really like the furry. But costumes. I was gonna put like one eye on my head and one on my shoulder, make it kind of different, but. It was hard to read because I wanted a face. Like it reads well as a face. It's obviously yeah. well made. It's obviously well done. It's well executed. But I just am not about cartoony shit. Like, yeah. In this way, like I don't like, I don't want to look like you're wearing a mascot costume. And this looks very like, I'm dancing like we're go team monsters and you're yeah, like yeah, the mascot with the cheerleaders. I can see that too. I, I don't like I mascot. Like, a... co- like I don't like furry costumes for drag queens. No, I agree. Oh, no, I agree. Well, that's literally what Simone wore. I think it's well done. I don't think it's anything to write home about. I agree. Moving on. Yes. The theme was pockets. It's smart. So I did pocket watch. It gives me the blondes. Very. I think this is fucking great. Thanks. I think anything that's performative like this, like that has an action to it, that's like designed is just smart in general. Thanks. I think it's great. That, and I love the blondes. Like honestly, fully blonde really inspired my drag. Um, oh, they're just, I don't, they have not fucked with me at all, at all, at all, at all. But um, I love the blondes. The blondes are literally icons. Like I'm obsessed with them, their designs. Like, like the, elevating drag. It's so good. All right, moving right along. We have this stunning, again, black and white. Oh we yeah, have, the th- this is your, um, Least favorite category. What is that? Best drag. I hate that. <laughs> I do too. I do too. I have one critique, but other than that, it's a fabulous look. The Beyonce puff hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it was just this big bouffant here and all the way back. But I styled that all myself. Like, it's this poofy poofy I here. Know. Like it should just be volume back. We have the same eye. Not the same eye. But I agree a thousand we, percent. We see... Real recognizes real. Yes, and I just love my makeup. I love everything. I literally didn't even. We had I like think it's beautiful. We had like a finale, like stunning lunch that was like whatever we wanted. And I didn't even eat because I was like needed time because we did the. Oh, you guys are getting lunches now. Must be nice. You didn't eat. A a stunning finale lunch. Yeah, they had like lobster bitch. They were going off. But anyway, like the that was the same that was the same day as um the lucky music video. So we had to go from lucky makeup to that. I have no idea what you're talking about. We did a top four music video. Oh my god. This finale next time. look. I think this is when you truly solidified yourself. Yeah, well, this me. was like time. Like we had time. You had time. I love Hellraiser. I love any. I love horror, and I love any horror that's like queer. And Hellraiser is the most like gender fluid horror movie besides like Bride of Chucky I've ever seen. And Silence of the Lambs would like a word. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Silence of the Lambs for sure, for sure. But they're all like full. Yeah, it's very that vibe. It's very that vibe. Like full, just wearing gowns and like just. I crazy. think taking something like so that and pretty. making it high glam. Yeah, Swarovski like, spikes on my head. Darling, like the silhouette, the skirt, the hip, the bag, the prop, Thanks. the Swarovski. Yes. Also, this photo, shout out to Albert and Pedro. They're the best in the world. The best. Like, what the hell? Sanchez Alba on Instagram. Like, <sighs> they just get it. Get it. Keith Herring Bowie. I feel like this was a great moment for the children. Oh my children. God, I'm wearing that hair right now. Oh, work. <laughs> Looks great. You know what I'm realizing more and more? The more I'm on the internet, the more I'm, the more people have voices on the internet. Homophobia is alive and well. With alive li- and well. So for some reason, I find myself reading comments and I'm like, oh my God, these people are yes. really nasty. And with the uh, HIV and AIDS epidemic, it's sort of like, for me, it's about all of the people that we lost. There's like, what, two generations of people? A generation of people that just like, Yes. Artists and creatives and beautiful, brilliant people that we never got to like learn from. Yes. So I think this look was important, and I hope all the young people watching Drag Race can sort of yeah. And I also maybe look up who Keith Haring is, and yes. I mean, Div Bowie's also a great and get into too. that. And I also wanted to take a moment and like add like my judges into it, and like Keith Haring fonts. So I had like trans rights and stuff, and like made it. All, oh, I put Crash the System in there, like all my things too, because it was like. Me, Keith Haring, Bowie, like everything. A mashup. Yes. Stunning love. Love. All right, you guys. Baby. Yes. Burnt the building. <laughs> to a crisp. Yes. 
it's just beautiful. Thank it's you. really beautiful. It's really well done. You actually showed me sketches of this, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember that? I was oh like, maybe God. not the chains. Oh, you did say that. I said, maybe not the chains on yeah, the middle. Yeah, you didn't like the but chains. But you know what? I was wrong. <laughs> it was. It's giving. It's really giving what it needs to be giving. That a tchotchke was wrong. Thank I think you. it speaks for itself. I don't know what else we could really say. It's, it's yeah. obviously a gorgeous look. It was cool. And it was like, that was a look too where it's like we didn't have people and that bottom half like zips onto it when you're I in it. I tried this. Remember we did? Oh, uh, yeah. I wore this and oh, I could yeah. barely put my fat ass into it. <laughs> I was wearing an 11 inch heel and that tight house outfit. And yeah, it was not the the comfiest Not moment. The tea, there was tea. one point where I was like, I don't know if I'll make it. Like I might have to just take it off and say, deal with it. And it was like really bad. I know how much work goes into drag. So I have got to give you props. Those looks were fucking incredible. Thank you. I mean, you really did the damn thing <laughs> and props to you, mama. Thanks, Gorge. Well, it was an honor having you read them. I'm so <laughs> glad we got to go through them. I'm glad you got to see them for the first time since you didn't want to watch. Well, I feel like I did see them because they were plastered all over my fucking phone. Yes. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us every button you can possibly imagine to connect with us. Um, this video, Violet read my looks. I was living. I can't wait to see what we do next. Oh, I have an idea what we're going to do next. All right. Um, it's going to get... Even shadier, I think. Yeah, I feel like we need to get shadier. I feel like we were too. That it, was too intellectual. Too nice. Too nice. Too nice. So we have to Cut get the crap. So if you guys want to see anything crazy, leave the comments down below. We will kill it because we have a lot of artistry to film in the next few years. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more glam coming your way very soon. Yes. Bye, Gorge.